Today's reading comes out of the FAH 8083. We're going to talk about valves specifically. So the FAA tells us that there's a handful of different types of valves. They say that there's a poppet valve, spool type valve, piston type, rotary type, and plug type. We're going to look at some of these different valves. And when we say valves, we can have, we're talking about control valves. We can select landing gear up, landing gear down. That's a control valve. Uh, a relief valve. If we get too much pressure in a hydraulic system, that's a type of valve. A sequence valve, we're going to look at those real quick. That's where we want something to move first, followed by something else. But all of these different valves are activated with things like uh, like check balls, uh, stainless steel balls, uh, a spool, which is a, a shaft. We're, we're going to look at all those different types here. Jumping down to figure 12-33, we look at a hydraulic system. And in here, this is kind of showing us a four-way selector valve. and uh, But that's just describing what the valve does. Uh, this it would be like a rotary valve. And they're showing us where this thing rotates to where we would take a handle and we would rotate the handle uh, prob most likely by hand. And that's a rotary valve. This happens to be a, um, a four-way valve here. And the reason I know it's four ways is because there's four lines connected off of this. And this is a four-way uh, closed center valve, just happens to be. So we can figure out a lot of things by looking at the valve. This picture on the left is showing us a poppet valve. Now that poppet valve, the way it works is it has a... Uh, down here there's a drill passage and there's a spring in there and a ball. So when we, when we rotate this, it will push that ball off the seat and that is a poppet valve. Now this is a four-way, which means we have uh, four hydraulic line connections. 12-35 shows us a servo. Now the servo means that it's electric. So we flip a switch in the cockpit and this valve will activate. There should be a couple electrical connections here. We can see over here there's this jagged thing. That's probably a wire bundle going into the side of this valve. And this happens to be I don't know if this is one valve or two, um, but I think it's two, or it's one valve, and we have one, two, three, four. And so this would be a four-way valve. Now these servo valves are often um, have what's called a spool. So we talked about the poppet type, we talked about the rotary type. This is a spool type. The left solenoid and right solenoid, these are these are connected to electrics, and they're going to move things here. Now this spool here, this is the spool at the bottom, and the spool is a metal shaft with what I call lands in them, and these lands will block off certain ports. So as this moves back and forth, um, it will block off ports, open up ports, so fluid can pass like through down here, down through here. Where it's open and fluid can squeak through, it's going to go through these passages. Now the way these solenoids work is that they will hydraulic pressure comes into this open area and the solenoid will block off or open up passages. Fluid will flow down here and with the assistance of the spring slide the whole spool. So hydraulic fluid and spring pressure working together are activating it. And our electric solenoids are opening and closing uh, passages. That's called a pilot. A pilot is where we use hydraulic fluid to help move something. But the spool is um, what we have inside a spool valve instead of the other type, which would be have a have a poppet or a ball, a ball and a spring. Here's another one here showing us that they've energized um, the right solenoid and it's moved, it's moved this thing out here and it's opened up these passages which lets hydraulic fluid come down here and help with the spring and it's going to push the spool. Those are servo. Servo means electric. Okay, now let's look at the simple check valve. Check valve, what that means is that it's only going to let fluid pass in one direction. We have two types of check valves. We have an orifice check valve and we have a, a check valve that will block everything off. Um, so, in view A, it is showing us a standard check valve. This is a ball type. It has a metal thing here and so fluid 
will come in the inlet, push the ball off, fluid can go around all this and through the outlet. Uh, in B, we have what's called an orifice check valve. Now what they do is there was this drill passage. The orifice check valve will has a has an orifice that will either help take it off of uh, help the ball come off or most of the time it lets a little bit of fluid flow. And so in this case a little bit of fluid will flow through this and then as it flows uh, we can we can increase the flow of this ball type. When we have a check valve there's always an arrow. You got to make sure that you install this in the proper direction because a check valve installed backwards will render a hydraulic system uh, um, inoperable. This is a sequence valve. Now a sequence valve is when we want something to open. So uh, we're going to show you an example of a sequence valve in another video. But what the sequence valve does is when an airplane takes off, the first thing that happens is the gear doors open, uh, the landing gear doors open, the landing gear retracts, and then the gear doors close. We want to sequence them. We want the, gear, the doors to open first, we want the landing gear to then come up, and then we want the doors to close. The sequence valve will mechanically make sure that that happens. And this is a pressure controlled sequence valve. And the way it does it is by pressure. And this works, uh, uh, this is a kind of a cousin to the relief valve. But we have a spring, we have a piston, and we have an inlet and an outlet. And um, we have a secondary outlet. So what this will do is it will, um, in terms of pressure, sensing pressure drops, this will sequence the order of the uh, gear. Now, 1240 shows us a mechanically operated sequence valve. So what happens with a mechanically operated is when you when you throw the switch, the first hydraulic actuator will move. It will come over. When it gets to the end of its travel, it will mechanically, something will mechanically hit this plunger and push this ball off the seat, which will open up port B. So um, we have a, here a, a check ball, and this plunger will push the ball off of its seat. So the first actuary will move. When it gets to the end of its travel, it will hit the plunger. with It'll push it physically with something. And then it'll push the ball up and mechanically move. 